Hello, uh, good afternoon. Uh, you're probably seeing that notification pop up on your computer or your phone. Studio Central is going live. Uh, please tap that notification and join us today. Uh, we are here uh, doing our Friday live demonstration. Uh, I'll give a little bit of background in case you're not familiar. Uh, Studio Central is a part of Artbeat Studio. Uh, Artbeat Studio is a not-for-profit registered charity and we really believe in the healing power of art. Uh, this is something uh, that can foster self-expression and creativity which can lead us all down a path of wellness and can really be hopeful in our lives. Um, and hope is a big part of uh, our conversation today. Uh, if you're not aware, today is the World Day of Suicide Prevention. And it's something that really uh, sits close with a lot of people. And it's really important to, to, to be a part, to understand, to, to have community, uh, and to feel uh, hope. And some of that hope comes through inspiration. And we have always done rock painting. And rock painting is something where we have written down messages of hope, uh, place them into our kindness garden, which we have at Studio Central. Um, it really is a, a community garden where people can leave messages of hope and take those messages with them. Uh, so today, uh, we were a part of um, a program at the Red River Community College, uh, just uh, an event that brought awareness to today. And we were a part of that uh, painting on rocks engaging with the community, engaging with people attending the event to uh, help us paint rock and to help write down their messages uh, for on this day. So we brought some of those rocks back and we brought our kindness garden back. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're just showing a finished product and one of the final steps when it comes to rock painting is sealing. So Kate's here to talk a little bit about that. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around to show some of the stuff that we created today over at the Red River Community College for the World Day of Suicide Prevention. Some really cool, beautiful rocks, um, some cool messages of hope and inspiration. So um, I hope you uh, enjoy them when you see them. There we go. Hello. Hi, Kate. How are you? Doing all right. I'm actually really inspired today and uh, got a lot of beautiful, beautiful messages. Not all of them are here, but some of them we could bring with us. And not all of them are still. So I will briefly go through the process that was there today. Uh, we've got Yukon Grey Pebbles from Home Depot. And the two places that they recommended are either Home Depot or Ron Paul's. Uh, garden center. Yeah. So this bag costed about seventeen, dollars. Uh, yeah. Plus tax. Plus tax. And the rocks there are quite nice. And these are the ones that do not have wax on them. That you do not have to boil them. It's very convenient to bring these rocks anywhere you want or bigger sizes. And then I just use packages very simply to. Wipe them if I do not have access to water, which happens quite often. Uh, it's basic process of wiping the dust off. And some rocks are really hard to clean. These rocks are easy to clean and start writing on them. Uh, we had a box of Posca, uh, and these markers were purchased from Artist Emporium, I believe. Artist Emporium, yeah. Uh, these two are mine, and these are from Artist Emporium as well. This is the thickest Posca marker that I could find there in the store. So this is the one. Oh, wow. And this is the 8 millimeters, and the finest is 107. Cool. So it's the kind that I usually do not really like and this as well i usually get the um ultra fine i believe it's called or just fine posca and that's enough for me and this is that big one has more of a chisel tip Your clear varnish is the most convenient as the bottle 
uh, you can get from Michael's or Artist Symporium is a small bottle. You do not have to purchase something big and it's uh, reasonable by price as well. You can get it either at Michael's Artist Symporium or Amazon. And what you need to seal it with is just a simple flat brush you can get from anywhere. This one is from Dollarama or Dollar Store, I do not remember. I think it's the Dollar Store that was in the US that I got it from. So uh, some of them uh, are already sealed. Uh, recommendation is more than one layer of sealer so it makes it a bit more durable. <laughs> Uh, there is a difference between uh, brush on sealer and spray sealer and I'll leave it for the discovery. I do not want to talk much about things that are easy <clears throat> to discover. You can buy a spray sealer and try it and see the difference between the brush on sealer and the Thanks. spray sealer. Also, a lot of my rocks are resin. resin um, we're showing some resin process before. <clears throat> These are resin. It does not have to be both sides, it can be just the top, but the main idea is to protect the image. So these are resin? These are resin. Okay. Maybe I'll show that's the rock that has sealed. Uh, so oh. this one is an unsealed rock. So this is unsealed. So this is like, this is how the rock looks painted, but like not sealed or resin. This one is sealed and it's one layer. Recommendation is more than one layer. And sometimes it's spray and brush and sealer together. They just need to dry between the... Um, so you can really see that difference. The, the resin makes leaves the rocks like really shiny. So I can just nice. drop a little <clears throat> tiny bit on cool. the rock and put another layer of sealer. I do not like when the sealer is too white because when it dries, you can still see it. It dries clear, but if it, the layer is too thick, it's definitely not the best. So this rock is not sealed yet. And uh, this would be the difference. So the rock gets darker. Nice. And then I would prefer to apply the second layer. And I'm not going to show the whole process, but it just, what I do, then I can add another layer. Yeah. Then they can go in resin or they can uh, be a stay with just a spray or brush on sealer. That depends on where you want to bring them. This one was sealed by the, one of the participants. It was our first row for today. Oh, okay. And nice. I really like it. It says strength. And just talking about the messages. Some of the messages were added by pseudo central participants. And I might read some of them. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. So again to reiterate so today is the world day of suicide prevention and this whole activity is a way to 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 have people come and go but also come and take messages of inspiration and hope with them so these are some of the messages kate if you want to read some of them uh, one of them is the struggle is real without you is harder um spread love Live your best life. Uh, it's okay to have mixed feelings. Oh, I like that one. Reach out. Wow. Be creative. Believe in your art skills. Nature heals. <laughs> Within the silence is loud. Echo the directions. Follow the dreams, hopes, and aspirations. Smile, paint, be. Take a nap. Take a nap. <laughs> Your pet loves you. <laughs> yeah, that. I love Smile it. Smile often. Breathe. Believe. Mm. And a little bit of shared experience. I found reading fiction novels very helpful to ease painful feelings. Uh, plus have quite interesting company. And the company was the library card. Awesome helpful 
and it was everything that was added as an experience and the recommendation and as a message as well messages can be very simple it can be you can and this one can work wonders mm. and we do not necessarily understand uh, uh, everything in our head it doesn't have to be there but we could read and see this one is not sealed yet so I need to seal it still life is a journey love with a beautiful feather, that's cool. You never know what this can bring. It's just a simple part, but it might bring a smile to someone's face. And, found. and one of my favorite messages is enjoy life. I do believe it makes a difference. This one is really cool. Feel the ground beneath you. Oh, that's this is um, Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> See, cool. come. You're lovely. Trust me. See, calm. That's nice. It was a really, it was a cool mix. Uh, we had students and we had people attending the event participating. This, you are lovely. Trust me. This is one of the students. That's nice. And these were all the messages that people were writing um, to help on a day like today. Stay strong, you got this. Live life. Oops. You are loved. Cool. And we got several me messages, you matter. And uh, I think it's one of the favorite phrases from the participants of today's mm -hmm. event. You matter, yeah. We got several different rocks saying you matter. And I think it's the belief that it does work. You are loved, hope, stay strong, oh. you got this. Leave Chosen life. family, I like this one, that's nice. Mm -hmm. right. So it's going to be sealed and placed in the garden that is a Studio Central garden. It's going there. There are some rocks from here that were painted last Friday and yeah. then I added more um, from what I did at home. Be kind, strength. So this garden, you can see, we can see the garden in the shot right now. This is over at Studio Central. Like if you happen to be walking through Portage Place, stop by. Grab a rock and take it with you. Um, you don't necessarily have to make a rock. It's here for people just to take uh, when, whenever they need. Also, we have some pins. Joy. And we have pins oh, yeah. that say all pronouns. They, she, he, they, they, them, she, her. And some of these rocks are made by my daughter and they uh they had they were oh that's cool uh, there was enough time to put them in resin so they cured nice the cool thing too because you use posca markers for rock rock painting and it's just you get this cool you can get these details it's really the way you can get the the writing on it the heart. So as an example, I just want to give some example of how this works. Because not everyone wants to buy a marker to try and not like it. Mm -hmm. I would say it's not my favorite. It goes for base coating. So as an example here, if I make a line, it might be see-through. So we want more than one base coat. So we can wait until it dries and you see that it's not purely covered. So we will wait and add more on top. But from white we can start and add more colors and they would not go too dark. 
So definitely face coating works for the same exact purpose you can get a spray spray paint or primer or just use acrylic to brush it on and they're all different options and then um, what else I think we covered everything what we're doing today already uh, the correction um, about the last video uh, the rock uh, that was Lindsay Gallis was by mistake. I, I named another artist, was a great artist too, with Julie Gal. And I'm sorry, uh, I do not know why, but it was Lindsay Gallis who was the artist for the beautiful rock I was showing last time. It was picked up today, and one of the participants of the event really liked it. So it was, it, it's found a home. This rock did find a home. I'm talking about Lindsay Galley and that last time I uh, used oh, the yeah, name yeah, yeah, yeah. of the artist. So yeah. it's Lindsay Galley, not Julie Gal, but Julie Gal does beautiful work as well. So you can check your work out on Winnipeg Rock's website. Cool. Um, also, uh, this one is the finest marker. Again, my recommendation would be the fine marker that is not. Uh, pin type uh, I do like the regular Posca rather than this kind uh, again brushes you can find anywhere in the stores such as Artist Emporium mm -hmm. Michaels but you can always order them or buy them from Dollarama or other dollar three dollar stores that you can find so the second layer does not do the trick necessarily Again, acrylic does the best coverage, which is recommended, but that depends on the acrylic type you buy. So instead of doing this, you can do something different. So there are so many things that people discover mm. by themselves. And I believe that mental health comes from a lot of sources. I mean sources, it's what you have already. But sometimes you do not feel like you can settle, you can work on things. And let's say motivation is one of the hardest things to get in some states of mind. Mm -hmm. uh, so staying motivated is one of the things that um, is not as simple as it seems, especially for people who suffer from depression, which uh, let's say is connected to our today's prevention topic. So, talking about prevention, uh, you never know how things affect other people until you see the result. Without the result, you don't know. Sometimes, something like that can give more results than uh, uh, tries of the family, or yeah. you, you do not. Definitely, there is great. Uh, alternative that is supposed to be there because family is not everything even though people think it is mm -hmm. it's not it starts from the family but we have friends we have uh, work relations and it's definitely good to go out in the world when you are ready yeah not everyone's ready yeah I think that that's uh, that's so smart because I think it is true like you could have you know, five people rallying around you saying, you're amazing, like, don't feel bad, feel good, feel good. And it can, sometimes it, that doesn't help. But then seeing something like a simple rock, if you cro if that crosses your path somewhere, if you happen to be walking and you look down and you see a little rock and it says, be kind, that can f do a 180 in your day, you know? And sometimes it's just a moment. Yeah. Sometimes the moment requires something to take you out of the mood you don't want yes. to be, and you're looking for something like that. And there's yeah. that rock, or there's something else. But also, sense of accomplishment is a major factor that people cannot really feel well while they have depression or mm -hmm. a certain time of their life. Yeah. So feeling of accomplishment needs to be stronger than usual. Yeah. And it's together with low, very low or zero motivation, 
something small like this can make a huge difference for you. Oh yeah. Because you make something little, but it can affect someone's life greatly. Just the fact that you've made it, right? Like that's, yeah. And it's so, yeah, once you start to do it with the rocks, it's like really great. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well. So come and visit the Studio Central Kindness Rock Garden. Come bring your rocks that you paint on draw. Uh, pick up rocks or pins that we have from yeah. there. That's the garden. You can't miss it. It's uh, when you're at the front door of Studio Central, it's usually perched on a display. And... You can see all the rocks there. So today, all of these rocks you see here are going to go into this, our little rock garden. So we replenish it all the time. So when you come, if you see it, and if you don't feel like making a rock, that is totally fine. But if you see a rock that inspires you, take it. We want you to take it and uh, bring it. Or rehide it for someone else to find and smile. Yes. Right on. Okay. Well, thank you, Kate. Here, I'll jump in there. <clears throat> thank you everyone for watching. Um, and again, today is the World Day of Suicide Prevention. So I hope that a small activity like this can bring a little bit of hope into your day and a bit of inspiration. Uh, we really believe in the power of art and the healing power of creativity. Um, so have a wonderful weekend. Take this into your weekend and, and enjoy yourself. So, all right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.